I've been engaged with the programme since the start for the last six months um, with a lot of very interesting other PPI uh, members and I think all of us have very different skills and experiences which in the open debate that we're really encouraged to be part of I hope adds to the richness, richness to ensure that a wider range of um, opinions, backgrounds and experiences come into the model. But I think first and foremost, I've always learnt in improving anything, if you don't involve the people that it's about, then it will not have the same impact as getting that early engagement. I think unfortunately we're constantly reminded of cyber attacks on the NHS in particular and many, many organisations and I think it's essential that the PPI members who are not experts in cyber security but have asked the questions of the experts and we do that we do point the finger at the experts and say please explain that in words we can understand and, and develop so I, that's a very important role so if we actually think and go through the um, the research process the, the the applicants write a paper it goes through an ethics committee under this new data access requirement, it will also go through a, a set of sc technical screening to ensure that the applicants are on paper definitely not doing this for the wrong reason and it might disappear from that purpose. But even then it has to get through the PPI group, our group, uh, and, and our goal is to ensure that that data is being used for the right cause in the right way and it has the security. So we've designed the questions we think to answer the points that when we talked to the public they were most fearful of, like selling the data to big tech, privatisation of the NHS um, and lack of and total security. But we do have the say so we can really protect uh, everybody's data.